There's nothing more Australian than a good old fashioned meat pie. Crunchy pastry, tomato sauce, down the park watching footy with the boys, washing it down with a couple of beers. And the best thing is, you don't have to be a pastry chef to be able to pull it off. All you need is store-bought pastry, one pot, and you're good as gold. Chuck a large pot over high heat, adding a little olive oil, and cook off lamb in batches, ensuring that all the lamb gets nice and brown. This is where the meaty flavour comes from. Once brown, set the meat aside. Now it's time to cook off and soften the veggies. All right, guys, it's time to chuck back in the, uh, the old lamb with the veggies, along with our tomato paste and flour. Give that a really good stir. Now it's time to add the wine, simmering it hard so that it reduces and you scrape up all the good stuff off the bottom of the pan. That's where all the flavor comes from. You want to reduce this by one third. Okay, now it's time to add the stock, which gives it a really, really big flavor kick. Pour that in, beautiful. And with the stock, we also have the flavor sock. Basically, for those fancy people out there, the bouquet garni, which is packed full of herbs and spices, which really adds a depth of flavor to this stock. While the filling's cooking, it's time to get onto the pastry. Rolling pin and store-bought pastry. You're now officially your own pastry chef. Roll out your pastry like your grandma showed you. Now let's put this bad boy together. Line the pie dishes with pre-cut pastry, adding the cooled filling, topping with an extra sheet of pastry. Everyone's favorite part. Press down on the sides with a knife and brush with a little egg wash. Cut a small hole in the top, which will allow the steam to escape. The pies go into an oven that's been preheated at 220 degrees for 35 minutes or until the pastry is just golden. A squirt of tomato or barbecue sauce and you've got yourself an Aussie pie. Thanks for watching guys, give it a go yourself and don't forget the full recipe is in my book, Dish It Up. Check it out below or buy it in your favourite bookstore. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know what you think down below.